Hello Aries and welcome back to New Hope Tarot where we will be doing your relationship reading from May 8th through May 14th. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled. As always though, I will shuffle live. During meditation, Spirit showed me a pork skewer, a wine opener, uh, but it was the older one, not the automatic one. So, And they only showed the, the handle up on top which tells me that you have to work for something. That was the feeling that I got, that there's work to be done in order to get to that wine. Okay, that's that's what I got overall. Okay, then for your Oracle card, we have Believe. And the card reads, may the sea deepen your faith. Yeah. If let's say, for instance, you're going through some troubled times within your relationship, this is work for it. You know, work for it. Not everything is easy. Not everything um, is going to be, um, you know, fast and easy going. Okay. Then we have chemistry. And chemistry reads, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. So for those in a relationship or even for, so for those who are not in a relationship, this is basically saying, listen, um, have faith that, you know, something is coming your way. Something that is worth having is worth waiting for, worth working towards. Okay. In chemistry, this is saying there's a strong magnetic attraction here. I do feel like um, there's attraction, physical attraction, maybe emotional attraction here. But either way, I feel like what this is really saying is the fact that there's more. There's more than just physical attraction. You just have to work towards it work for it. All right. We have the king of wands, queen of wands in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse. Okay. What I'm getting here is the fact that there's, there's a sense of There's a sense of ego is what I'm getting here. Whether it's yours or theirs, I'm not 100% certain, but I'm getting a sense of ego here. And not that ego is a bad thing as long as it's, a, you know, like a sense of confidence. But what I'm getting here is maybe ego is blinding you to seeing something that is really there, right? So let's say, for instance... you find this person attractive in some sort of way, shape, or form, but they are not your typical type. So maybe you're trying to convince yourself, no, they're not my typical type, that I, I'm, I, I attract better looking people, or I attract more sophisticated people, or I attract whatever that looks like, right? Whatever it is, I, they're not the typical person that you are typically drawn to, but either way, you're still drawn to them. And I feel like your ego is trying to overcome your, your heart. And I feel like you have to get that back in, in into check. But I do fear, uh, feel that you're not wanting to move forward. You're not wanting to move forward or you're, you don't want to move forward. Okay, and I just started shuffling a deck that I'm not even supposed to be shuffling. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I'm also seeing for some of you here that maybe there's some lies that are being said, even though you might be attracted to this person. There might be some lies that are being sprinkled 
And maybe you're believing those lies, whether those lies are from like rumors from other people or lies you're telling yourself or lies that they're telling you. And maybe you're afraid to move forward from this situation. Um, and you're not wanting to really, really have the conversations with this person, whether it's real or not, whether these these rumors are true or not. I feel like you're just not wanting to approach this conversation. And I feel like you really should. Then we have the 10 of wands in reverse, the three of wands and the king of cups. Okay. For some of you, I feel that this is just becoming overly burdensome this relationship and you decide that you're going to move forward and go towards somebody that is going to be more emotionally available to you. For others, I'm seeing the fact that you might need to ground yourselves a little bit and find that balance between the king and the queen of wands, that, that balance between ego and emotion. All right. And then decide that this is an adventure you want to take. All right, and then step into more of a king of cups energy versus a king of wands energy. And of course, this could be uh, male, female. This is not gender specific, all right? These are just energies. For those who are not in a relationship, balance out your energies, my dear ones. Without you balancing out your energies, you're not gonna be able to come forth and find this king of cups person. Love yourself so that this person can come forward. Know that you are worthy of having love in your life. And that a king of cups person is coming your way. Right? But you have to release the burdens of, oh, I'm not this, I'm not that. Right? Get your ego in check. Right? Ego isn't bad. Ego is just ego. All right, we have seahorse spirit watching away. Believe that this is this whatever this dynamic is. I feel like this is a very soulful dynamic. I feel like this is going to oh, we have the ace of coins. Um, I feel like this is a very um, very soulful uh, connection. Very entwined converse uh not conversation entwined relationship um if you're not with somebody right now or if you are with somebody i feel like this is a very connected um relationship one with a lot of depth and you might need to step outside your ego like i said step outside your ego believe that this is something that is meant to be I mean, very, very sturdy, very, there's a lot of emotional depth here. I feel like there's a depth emotionally, but I feel like you're, you need to work towards finding that physical attraction, but I feel like you will find that physical attraction once you get to know this person that much more and connect at a deeper level. This person starts blooming right in front of you and you start seeing them for their actual beauty than just their physical beauty. Okay, then we have the Ace of Coins, Page of Cups, and Six of Cups. I'm telling you, there's a soul connection here. There's an absolute soul connection here. Not only is this going to be a very steady, solid relationship, it's going to be full of love. It's going to be an, it's just, and look, the Six of Cups, which is youthful, past life energy. This is, this is, and, and the Seahorse Spirit as well. This is a lovely connection. Uh, seahorses mate for life. Uh, I, I really, really like this. You know, yes, are they awkward looking a little bit, these seahorses? Yes, but they're so magical at the same time. So look for the magic within this relationship, within this connection. All right, my dear Aries, that is what I have for you. Work for this relationship. All right, it's going to be worth it. All right, my dear ones, until we meet again. Bye.